I'm going to do a poem that I wrote in 1990, and I kind of took it not from a real life experience, but from experiences that we all have had if we've ridden that river and know that how tough that old quicksand is and how we learn at an early age how to get out of it and let our horse have his head. It's called to an old friend. I stood by the fountain as they brought him out, a lost, lonely look on his face. I ain't never seen him in nothing but boots and the wheelchair sure seemed out of place. It took him a while to recall who I am, then confusion broke into a grin. It was though we were saddled up, ready to ride the Hackberry pasture again. He laughed as he said, I remember the time that yeller bronc swallowed his head and pitched you so high that you turned over twice. Me and Benny Bob swore you was dead. He looked up at me and said, how is old Ben? I lied and said, he's doing fine. No need to remind him his brother was gone. Ben died back in 79. For most of an hour, we rode at a trot. We branded and shaped up the steers, drank gallons of coffee, ate sourdough bread, and cowboyed for 51 years. I thought he was an old man when I was a kid. At a time when I needed a friend, he took me to raise, taught me all that I know about horses and cattle and men. See, my daddy had died and I needed a job. I was big for a kid of 15. So they put me to work on the Four Sixes Ranch. I was dumb as a gourd and as green. We was looking for strays in the Wichita breaks. It was me and John Gaither and him. I'd lost sight of John. I was looking around kind of daydreaming there on the rim and rode up on some cattle hid out in the brush. A two-year-old steer come by me, throwed a nine in his tail and cut a new trail right out through them salt cedar trees. I lit out behind him a giving her hell. This cold I was riding was green. I thought to myself, he ain't getting away. This roan is a running machine. We was going full bore when we got to the bank. Stream wasn't white as my hat. I almost pulled up, then I thought, what the hell, I've jumped rivers wider than that. Well, I bogged that old pony plumb up to his gut. He was wallering and thrashing around, going down deeper with each desperate lunge and me praying he'd find solid ground. And just at the moment that I heard his voice, a rope appeared right by the roan. Get out of that cack and hang on to my line. The colt will get out on his own. I've crossed that old river many a time. Found me a bog once or twice. But I still remember a 30-foot rope and a good cowboy piece of advice. When you ride the river, son, Make sure your horse is gentle and seasoned as well, cause only the good ones will get you across. That quicksand goes clean down to hell. I got up to leave and he reached for my hand. He said, son, I'm sure glad you dropped by. If you see old Ben, have him saddle my horse. I hate sitting waiting to die. His voice started cracking. He swallowed said I'm nearing the end of my ride but if I cross the river before you get there I'll leave a good horse on this side